Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand over. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the killer. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. Straight right, he misses. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Nice punch by Short. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Hands high, hands high. The next with a right. Checks that leg kick. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Right hand upstairs. He's got to start moving his head. He cannot take this many shots to the head. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this? So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Put your hands up higher. Come on. Oh, nice. <laughs> Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hit him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Body kick lands right under the elbow. Joy sure gets caught with that punch. Working out of that southpaw stance. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Try to establish that jab. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. That comes from him throwing that kick. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Good punch land. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. 
Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that chip. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice kick there by Chor. Another shot lands upstairs. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of time. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope the fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes we got to deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Trying to hammer that lead leg. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Another knee finds the target, so a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What a punch. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Dig and kick. Just missed with the left there. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by Shore. Oh, it looked like that left hand found the target. Found the target as it has on so many occasions tonight. Oh, nice. Nice punch there. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Oh, that's a nice strike. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. And he switches to southpaw here yet again. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. That's a good strike right there. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Right hand upstairs!
just out of range with the big right hand. Nice punch lands over the top. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Twenty seconds to go round two. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Ten minutes in the books. All right, that's the end of the round. You see the cut on his lip, ladies and gentlemen, is only getting worse. Likely gonna need to get stitched up after the fact, and blood in and around the mouth area could upset his breathing pattern. Not a good reality for him here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Which corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in the team round? Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Nice punch land over the top. There's no tell on that leg kick. That punch no good. Just out of range with that right hook. Big leg kick land. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Nice looping punch. My goodness! That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Just misses there with the left. And both guys really throwing with authority. Beautiful kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Both guys landing with conviction now. Great punch landing with so much power. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Nice punch there by Choi. Able to check the high kick. Single collar tie now. Over and over, he's landing this big body kick. Right hand upstairs. That's a really strong leg kick there by Choi. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Punch over the top. Oh, 
an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Oh, big head kick lands. Punch land. Ooh. Powerful leg kick land. A swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. He got the turtle in that kick. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Threw the punch, got to the target. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Final seconds here. Nice straight punch. Stop, stop, stop. Right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. It wasn't just the accuracy, it was the aggressiveness, the volume. It was unbelievable to watch him be so accurate. The cardio, the push, the pace, and the pressure that he fought with. It's going to be very interesting to see if he can maintain this over 15 minutes. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches and bunches. He's doing a great job. Joy gets caught with that punch. Let's get some Let's oh, get a huge block there. So the head strike's starting to pile up. Way to hide that leg kick. And he... Oh! Guys landing big shots. Well, he's a taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. both stand up. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Oh, big punch lands. Overhand right, swing and a miss. Lance with the right hand. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, well, you can't enter the pocket there unprotected. You gotta figure out a way to get your guard up. That's it! He got him! Well, it's not every day in the UFC that you see a fight ended due to a leg kick, but that one was absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter. 
and then it became just a matter of time. So somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. So a huge win by TKO for him here tonight. A seminal moment in his UFC career, and that could hold up as one of the better TKOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called the stop of this contest at two minutes, 38 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by...